guys so I'm gonna be uploading a video on installing demon eyes into the projector lenses of these S15 headlights um, I had a video already it was the install on the other lens uh, I mean other lens the other headlight but somehow some way that footage ended up getting corrupted <clears throat> so I ended up losing it all but uh, I'll just show you the final product, which is pretty much this. The demon eye is in there. That's it right there, that little shiny silver piece. But this is the housing, and then that cut right there for the actual cable to the demon eye. That's the bulb. So this is the finished result. This one was kind of sketchy, and I was going to upload it as sketchy install or something like that. But it should work. It should still be pretty good pretty quality uh it was mostly because i was going into this stuff blind and i expected the universal fit to actually fit but i had to do some pretty fab uh stuff so with this one i'm gonna know what i'm doing a lot more than what i did on the first one i will explain what problems i ran into for the first one as i go on but um yeah, so I'm going to just re-record it, re-record this install, and uh, we'll go from there. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and get these headlights open. Um, for those that don't know how to open headlights, you can use a heat gun, uh, or you can use an oven. But pretty much you want to bake it. I'm using a heat gun because with this LED strip, I got it coming out the side here from a hole that I drilled. So... I don't want to put it in the oven and potentially melt any of those uh, wire or well, just anything related to that. With this, you can be more direct on where you put the heat. It just takes a little bit longer. So I'll go ahead and get started on this and um, we'll go from there. Okay, got them split. Um, for anybody that is trying to mod, S15 headlights just want to let you know in advance uh, outside of the uh, the headlight sealant that they use there's also a couple screws that you're gonna have to take out so you don't want to just go in and do it there's gonna be a screw here at the very end and these actually hold the lens in so there's a screw here there's a screw here uh, mine's on the top side weren't holding nothing in so there's a screw here there's one here um, I think that's all for the ones that's at the top and then on the bottom you got one right there uh, I believe that's it no there's another one that'll be right here too after you get those screws out you can actually uh, heat up and pry off the actual lens uh, if you don't take those screws out and you just heat it up and try to pry it off, it's not going to come off. Uh, these are the screws that I had that were actually holding stuff in. So just a little uh, note for you guys. But definitely take your time with it. Don't heat it up rapidly at once because then you'll end up burning the actual lens, the actual glass. And that's kind of not replaceable unless you get new headlights which will be like seven hundred dollars so take your time heat it up pry a little bit you know make sure you got all the screws out and you should be good on that so i'm gonna go ahead and start tearing this apart okay so here i am uh took apart this currently laid out the lenses and the housings i want to try and get these hydro dipped in carbon fiber so Hopefully I can get that done or find somebody to do that for me because I know I can't do that myself but took those apart and uh, If you watch my last video, you'll know how to disassemble the s15 headlights But this is pretty much what's getting all of the work done. So the demon eye is going to go here uh, I got a halo for this a new shroud for the halo like the Lenses are going to get etched like this. This is getting reworked and it should turn out beautiful by the time that I'm done with it and put it back into the car. And so, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. Like I said, it's in my in my last video. You'll know how to take these apart. It's pretty simple though, um, and how to get it out of the housing. That's also pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward if you uh, can figure it out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got it all disassembled. This part just holds the lens in, keep it from popping out. That's the actual housing that the lens will sit on. And this is where the actual demon eye will get mounted. And I'll go ahead and show you the problem that I ran into with the universal mount. This is the lens itself. I actually discovered that I had a little bit of overspray on it from when I painted these black. It's like barely noticeable. Like you would have to be looking for it to see it. But um, it is there. So I'm kind of glad that I'm taking these out so that I can clean them and everything like that. And then that's the actual housing for the bulb. Um, so yeah, let me show you real quick the problem that I had encountered with doing these on the S15. Here, let me grab some light. <clears throat> Alright. So, with the housings of these headlights, or the projectors, the lens will sit here. And the demon eye should be mounted directly behind. So it'll probably be like in here somewhere. Cool. The universal, I guess, H1 projectors all have a similar housing where there'll be uh, two screws at the top that you can just bolt the demon eye to. But the problem with the S15 projectors is... The bracket that fits normal H1 projectors is this small. And just by demonstration, yeah. That's not going to work as far as anything. Like, there's no way that you can even begin to finesse getting this in there. Unless you take a screw that's just long enough and drill it all the way through to the actual housing. But... I'm pretty sure you'll either hit the projector lens itself or destroy the housing entirely. Because the demon eye mounts onto this, and this is the bracket that's supposed to mount to the housing like this. But as you can see, it's entirely way too far apart and not aligned right. So, in order to fabricate it in, what I ended up doing on the last one was just cutting a slit there that was about the same width or thickness as the actual um demon eye and i ended up mounting it in there and bolting it down and that way it faced outwards so it came it pointed out this way and since the housing for the light is bolted up with all of this reflective material it'll be pointing into this reflective kind of housing thing so when it turns on the light will reflect all around and come out the projector at least that's the idea of it so it should still work <clears throat> so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing here the last one is like really messed up because I didn't know immediately how I was going to go about fabricating it to fit in here I just knew I had to do it somehow I think at first I ended up cutting like cutting a square down here so that it could slide in but then that didn't work because I had nothing to cut it hold it at the top so then I cut the slit down here due to room and since it was so low I had to drill a hole under here so that I could bolt it together and it was just a lot but I did get it in there and it is fitting flush and everything like that so hopefully that one's good but this one I'm just going to go for a slit right here probably under that 12 and that should be more than enough to go ahead and take care of everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start by making the first cut. Pretty much be a horizontal line across this. And that honestly should be the only cut that I make compared to the other housings. Um, so... I'll go ahead and get started on that. I'm just going to use this cutter wheel. It should be the same thickness as the cutter wheel, so that should be fine. And then we'll go from there. Okay, um, got the first initial cut. 
right there. It's not perfectly straight, but you know that kind of. I don't think that'll matter too much. I do need to widen it a little bit because it is currently too small for the actual demon eye to go through. So I got to just widen it a little bit. And just like that, I am able to get it in. So it'll sit like this. I'll tape off the side so that it doesn't, you know, go through there. And then I'll just mount it on the inside with the screw. Oh, just like that, pretty much. Run the wire out the side, it'll be fine. And so let me go ahead and bolt that up and then take this all off. Okay, so as you can see on this side, I taped off like where the gap was to keep it from moving to the left. I did manage to get the bolt and screw together in there. So all I just gotta do is uh, tighten it up and then I'm gonna tape off this side so that it doesn't slide from side to side. I'm not really worried about it moving up and down because it kind of doesn't allow for that, but this is pretty much perfect. And it's, it's what the other, uh, um, what the other side should have been so I'm gonna tape off that side and finish this up and then show you guys the finished result now you can look at this as a comparison so this is the second attempt which is pretty much what I should have did originally size mount it and then this is the first attempt you can see where I went wrong with it as in cutting that whole top part then I had to mount this pretty low, so I had to drill a hole down there. I covered up the hole, but I had to drill a hole down there just to get the screw in and everything like that. So this was the first attempt, and that should still be good. It's even grinded down. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can, if I can focus on that, but you can see that the LED fins are grinded down a little bit. That's because I was trying to mount it on the inside at first so it was a lot of trial and error with this one but ultimately I got it pretty much similar to this one so hopefully they all still work we'll see how it looks in the end and they got a pretty hit it they're like if I put the lenses in they'll be hidden completely so that's another reason okay <clears throat> so this is the final um result ignore the the nut that's in there i still have to tighten that but it's pretty much how it's going to look it's not touching the uh the actual bulb in there so it's not moving around this is with the housing on as you can see bolted down i made made a little notch for the cord to come out so that is how to install the RGBW Demon Eye to a S15 housing. Now, before installing it to the headlights and resealing them, I would recommend cleaning up the uh, reflective piece in here, just giving it a wipe down. Same thing for the lens, because you don't want any dirt on there that's going to be there forever. But I'm not doing that because there's a lot more stuff that i got to install to these headlights, so I'll clean them before I finish the whole thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. Um, probably the next thing will be the uh, the halos and LED strips. We'll figure it all out from there. Oh, and then, uh, by the way, in case some people were wondering, the rest of the install is pretty self-explanatory. So after you get the actual demon eyes mounted, this wire has this connector on it and that goes directly to the demon eye the kit comes with this which is the driver the driver is going to have the same connector plugs right into the one with the demon eye and then on the other end it'll have these three wires this is going to go to a continuous ground yeah that's going to go to a continuous ground 
the braided one, this is going to go to your controller. So whether you have a Bluetooth one or a remote one, this is going to go to the controller. And then this is going to go to 12 volts. But you want this to go to 12 volts like uh, like your headlights, for example. Because you don't want these to be on while your headlights is on. You'll burn them out. So uh, this is the shutoff or the cutoff switch for the RG. I mean for the demonize. So once this wire receives 12 volts, it cuts the whole thing off. And so you, me, I'm gonna wire it to my uh, low beam switch. So as soon as my low beams get power, the demonize shuts off regardless. That way I don't burn them out because this is the low beam housing. So those are pretty much the other wires. This goes to the controller. This one 12 volt off switch. And this one is constant ground. And then there you go.